It's my feel good breakfast show. But listen, today is World Oceans Day, and a big focus for experts out there is, of course, to try and keep our waters clean from pollution. And now, a brand new ambitious project aims to do exactly that by making use of a garbage collector that is, or reportedly, one of the longest uh, floating structures in human recorded history. Take a look. With millions of tons of plastic floating in the world's oceans, taking care of the world's ocean garbage problem is one of the largest environmental challenges mankind faces today. But Dutch inventor Boyan Slot has developed a plan to clean up the world's ocean in just five years, removing 7,250,000 tons of plastic and becoming the world's first system to passively clean up plastic pollution from the world's oceans. So how does he plan to do it? His invention consists of an anchored network of floating barriers and processing platforms that can be dispatched to garbage patches around the world. Shaped like a boomerang and working with the flow of the water, the device acts as a giant funnel as the ocean moves through it. The angle of the barriers force plastic in the direction of the platforms, where it is then separated from smaller forms such as plankton and filtered and stored for recycling. The idea is so simple, it's incredible nobody thought of it sooner. The issue of bycatches and killing fish life in the procedure of cleaning the garbage can hopefully be eliminated by using barriers instead of nets. And because of the plastic's density compared to larger sea animals, the use of barriers will allow creatures to swim under it unaffected, reducing wildlife death substantially. Slot says the system will span 2,000 meters, making it the longest floating structure ever deployed in the ocean. Hoping to commence the ocean cleanup at the start of 2016, there's no question that this environmentally conscious entrepreneur has a bright future as a global innovator and possibly even a planet saver. But for him to do that, it is of course essential that we stop polluting to prevent any more plastic from reaching the ocean in the first place. And with that, we can all play a part in saving our planet by recycling our plastic and other rubbish.